I'm Joshua Hanlon here at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago at the new Brick by Brick exhibit and I'm joined by Adam Reed Tucker here, the designer of all the builds in this exhibit and he's going to tell us about the Hoover Dam build here. Yep, so the Hoover Dam, this is actually um, my favorite one out of all of them. Okay, so when that, that question is going to come up in the next couple of days, so yes this is. Um, and coincidentally this was the easiest and quickest for me to build. Um, not necessarily design, but as we all know, the design is 80% of the time and the build is, you know, nothing. So this took me about three months, or excuse me, three weeks of kind of back and forth playing around with the idea. Um, how was I going to make my Hoover Dam distinguish itself and different? And it only took me three days to build. So this is a very quick one and it turns out, it's funny, the bridge took me three months to build and you'd think that was my favorite actually it's the dam and the reason why this is my favorite is because when I did my research on this it was conceived and designed and built in the 1930s and I was able to pick up a documentary of the construction so being a fan of architecture and art I have this library of videos that would probably bore most people um, but for me it's amazing I watched the video probably 20 times because I'm always picking up it's like your favorite movie right so for me um, seeing these guys work and understanding the challenges they had this structure being built when it was in the during the depression the height of the depression no less and the achievement is nothing short of amazing you have to go and visit the real Hoover Dam I've been there a few times and every time I'm there it's amazing every time. So you really, if you're a fan of architecture and engineering, you have to go there and you'll be very humbled by the magnitude, but then take a deeper dive and figure out how these guys built it. It's phenomenal. So my point is with this model, what I wanted to do, you will notice that it is not color correct. And that's because what I wanted to do is pay homage to the time, the period. And so the movie I have was done in black and white. And so I wanted to do a black and white version of the Hoover Dam. Um, not to mention I had a lot of burps, okay? <laughs> Which I just found out as well as big, ugly rock pieces. Right, so that's kind of in the mountain in the and side I here. I know AFOLs are gonna kill me for using those because I also used them on the bridge. But I have to tell you that um, in a very, I'm also a minimalist, and so instead of getting caught up in a lot of sexy rock work that AFOLs are amazing at doing with the slopes, and, and we did some of that on Cinderella's Castle, so there is, there is some of that out there where we're doing, you know, roof slopes at, you know, snotted and that sort of thing to get that really cool rock. With this, um, if you notice, I created a pattern. I, I didn't want to mess it up too much because I just wanted the, the, the rock work to just be a backdrop. And if you actually look over at the front of the dam, what I've decided to do was one side is done as it was completed and the other side is done as it is under construction. And yes, I had bigger plans for some Grant gantry cranes and some buckets and things, but I just kind of ran out of time, and and so it is what it is here. But um, the nice thing about this piece, like the other ones here, is they all tell a story. And if you go around the side into the back, this actually unveils the anatomy of the Hoover Dam. So like this pipe that's going through here, it's called a penstock pipe, that's actually used in a spillway. So you can actually see the intake towers here, and then the actual cause where the spillway here where the water would overflow and then go down through those pipes and bypass the dam. And so I wanted to, to tell a little bit, there's a lot more involved in this, trust me, um, and even getting a sneak peek down into the front where you actually see all the electricity because this is a hydroelectric dam. So you can actually see the powerhouse and the turbines down there. So I peeled back the roof so you could see that and expose it. So this is a little bit of a you know, the anatomy of a dam. And so that's the story that I was telling with this all the while making it kind of black and white to pay respects to when this was done, you know. So that's the Hoover Dam. Okay, very cool. Thanks for telling us about it.